Okay, here we have an example where we're going to use the density formula again. We're asked to calculate the mass of a sample, and the sample size is 0.35 cubic centimeters. The density of this substance, which is copper, is given to us. So again, if we're dealing with density and we're asked to solve for mass or volume, one of the most important things is to write down the formula for density and write down what we know. We do know the density, and that is given to us in the problem here. So we're going to write that down as one of our known factors. And we're also given the volume of the sample. And we know that because cubic centimeters is the same as milliliters. Don't forget, one milliliter equals one cubic centimeter. And even if you wanted to, you could say, all right, well, 0.35 milliliters. Because notice our density value is given in milliliters. If it helps you to understand that these units will cancel off, then you can go ahead and write that, well, express that as 0.35 milliliters. So now to solve for the mass, what we need to do is look at this initial formula here for density, and we need to rearrange it to isolate for the mass. So quick little recap. In order to solve for mass, we're going to multiply the side by V over 1 to cancel V, or volume, on this side of the equation. Don't forget what you do to one side, you need to do to the other. So on the other side, if we multiply by V over 1, we have now isolated M, and that equals D times V. Now don't forget, uh, many times formulas are rearranged, so the one that we're trying to solve for is written on the left side. So don't let that upset you at all. It means the same thing. Mass equals density times volume. Now it's pretty much uh, plugging in the values that we know. The density, which was given to us, is 8.8571 grams per milliliter. Now we're going to multiply that value by the volume, which is 0.35 milliliters. Now notice this is the same as milliliters over 1, and you can clearly see that milliliters is on the top half of the fraction and on the bottom half of the fraction over here, and they will cancel, leaving us with only a unit of grams, which does express mass. So that's great. So after multiplying through on your calculator, 8.8571 times 0.35, you should get an answer of 3.0999 Eight, five grams. Well, if you go back and review a significant figure rules, we should round our answer to two significant figures, and we'll end up with an answer of 3.1 grams for the mass of this sample of copper.